Whether you wear heels every day or you just rock those pumps for a special occasion, it's important to take care of those ankles and feet. Today I'm going to show you some strengthening and stretching exercises to help you avoid injury so you can continue to rock your favorite pair of high heel shoes. So our first move is the toe raise. All right, you're just gonna pull your toes up towards the sky and then gently let them come back down to the floor. The control here is a lot harder than it looks, but you're working the front of the shins, you're working the ankles and the top of the feet, all those muscle groups that are getting that stretch the whole time as you're wearing heels. So you wanna work those muscles so they're really strong and they can support the rest of your body. Next, we're gonna go right into the heel walk. So it's just more dynamic than the toe raise. Now you're keeping the toes up nice and high and you're on those heels. So you wanna keep those toes up as high as you can and you're just going right on the heels and you're walking it forward and back. You could do this for a longer distance, but you're keeping that balance and the whole time I'm feeling the burn in my shins, okay? All those muscle groups, the top of the feet, the ankles and the shins. Next, we've got the calf raises. Now calf raises is nice and simple. You're just gonna go up on the toes and then come back down slowly. You can also do this from a platform if you wanted to let yourself get a little more calf stretch. But when you come up, come on the balls of the feet and really squeeze those calves. You're working that calf really deep through that calf muscle. And then after about 10 of regular calf raises, we're gonna switch it up, changing the angle. So toes together, heels out. And now we're working the lateral side of those calves. If you're walking on unstable surface areas, you're gonna have to have some strength in the lateral sides of your lower leg. So again, working on the lateral muscle groups, and also this is gonna really strengthen your ankles and your feet. This is really, really important. Pretend you have an imaginary line. You're gonna be on one foot. You're gonna gently go side to side over that line. Okay, so you can see I'm staying on the ball of my foot, going side to side, and this is really strengthening my calf, ankles, and feet. If you did this with bare feet, it would be even better. Now, not only is it important to strengthen those ankles and feet, but you wanna stretch those calves and those ankles because that's gonna really help you recover from wearing those high heels all night long. Yeah, a regular calf stretch is really great. You really get that gastric nemius, that calf muscle. But we're gonna do the bent knee calf stretch. So you're gonna bend that knee and you're gonna get the deep muscle, okay? So you're getting your Achilles, you're getting the bottom of the foot stretched out, and you're getting that deep soleus calf muscle. It's the deep muscle to the gastrocnemius, which is a really different muscle group to stretch. So adding the bend in the knee is key here. And you're gonna feel that all through your ankle as well. So we're really working on the mobility here all through the ankle. So you wanna go in a clockwise motion all the way up, all the way down. So you're pointing that toe towards the floor and then all the way up towards the sky. Get about 10 circles in one direction and then the other direction. Now this looks simple, but it's really important to have that mobility through your ankle so you're less prone to strain or to sprain one of your ankles. Now, not only will you feel confident walking in those high heel shoes, you'll also feel comfortable. Thanks for watching Pop Sugar Fitness.